Hi, I'm Gail Gavin. And I'm Barry Lawrence. 20 or 30 years ago, I'll bet 10 people who had anything good to say about Lake Erie. You're right, Barry, but all that has changed. And today, we're going to show you how a group of cottagers helped make Lake Erie the sparkling success story of the Great Lakes. Today on Cottage Country. Today on Cottage Country, golden summer days for cottagers on Lake Erie. Exploring the waterfalls on a cottage picnic. Ted Reader's barbecued bell pepper eggs. And John McElroy turns a hollow log into a cottage mailbox. Cottage Country is brought to you by the Jeep Division of Chrysler Canada. Presented in part by Honda Marine, power in tune with nature. And by your neighborhood home hardware and home building center dealer, Canada's paint experts. We take for granted the beautiful clean waters of our lakes and rivers. But there was a time on Lake Erie where you wouldn't take your family sailing. The water was just too polluted, but the cottagers of Rondeau Provincial Park pitched in to help in the giant cleanup of Lake Erie. And now they're back on the water at full sail. The rays of another summer daybreak melt like honey into the shimmering water of Lake Erie. The spectacle of the rising sun is the reflection of the golden days that Lake Erie now enjoys. As he does on most mornings, Stu McLaren takes a stroll along the beach. When he gazes out over the lake he loves so much, he remembers a time not many years ago when Lake Erie faced certain death. Lake Erie, uh, I hate to use the term, but became the cesspool of the Great Lakes. And you could see the path that you left as you went through the water. You, it was a green algae and you cut through it just like you would cut through an oil slick. It was terrible. It was very devastating, to be perfectly frank about it, and uh, it was not a pretty sight, nor was it a, a good situation. The pollution and the smell of rotting fish filled the air and made enjoyment of the lake impossible. So the cottagers of Rondo got together and decided they would clean up their part of Lake Erie. We would uh, get our shovels and our rakes, and we would just have at it. And their efforts paid off. Today, once again, the shorelines of Lake Erie invite cottagers to this beautiful park. Rondo Provincial Park holds a special significance to Stu McLaren. Not only is he a longtime cottager here, he grew up in this park on the north shore of Lake Erie. His father was park superintendent for 30 years. Well, growing up in Rondo, most people see it as a summer retreat, which it is. But my father worked here 12 months a year, so I lived here 12 months a year. So when everybody else was back in the city doing what they do, I, I was here. This park has always been a popular spot for cottagers. Back in 1894, when Rondo was first established, the government started leasing lots for summer cottages. By 1955, there were more than 400 cottages here, but then the government had a change of heart. Rondo, they decreed, was going back to nature and would be cottage-free by the 1980s. More than a hundred cottages were demolished, but in 1994, after a long and drawn-out battle, the summer residents of Rondo won a reprieve. Leases for the cottages that remained were extended to 2017. The cottages along this area are in the part of the park that we refer to as the new subdivision. It's really a misnomer. It's not really new. These cottages were built in the early 1940s. And one of the stipulations when they were 
built is that each owner had to spend a minimum of $2,000, which was a lot of money in those days, in order to be granted a lot. On our left here, you'll see it looks like an empty lot, which it is, and a kind of a scrubby lot at that. That's where a cottage used to be, and when the government decreed that the cottagers must be, be removed from the uh, park, that's where one was taken out, and the lot was left to just uh, develop in its own natural state. Stu McLaren is just one of many cottagers here who feel that Rondo Park is a very special place. Today, Gary Shaco and his bride, Linda, have taken their vows at the Rondo Park Church, which he's been attending every summer since he was a kid. Because I love this park, and I love Linda, <laughs> and I love this church, and it's just great memories. My family's been here for five generations. Once I got to know Linda, uh, she just uh, became a part of the family, the fell in love with Rondo. It's just really, uh, this is really not just a wedding, but a family reunion. Welcome to the family. <laughs> this is indeed a day for celebration. Down on the beach in front of the cottages, Stu McLaren and his neighbors are just about to set sail for their annual regatta. The strategy for the race today is to get on the windward side of the fleet as we come into the starting line. It's basically an opportunity for us to uh, put our neighbors in their place out on the water. <laughs> hey Crothers, you're going down. You're going down. We'll see you. All right. Uh, in the lead throughout today, even when you did factor in the official Portsmouth ratings, was Mike Newell and uh, his wife Erin Newell on their Hobie 18. Good job. An afternoon of fun is followed by an evening barbecue at the McLaren Cottage. The community spirit here is strong. Rondo is a place where neighbors are like family, where they share the joy of seeing Lake Erie, their lake, reborn. Rondo is a people park, and just people getting together to enjoy, you know, people, whether it's rollerblading or nature hikes on the trails or whatnot. We want people to get together to come to Rondo and enjoy Rondo for what it is. It's just a little piece of paradise, and to be able to walk out your front door and walk less than 100 feet and be on a beautiful, clean lake like Lake Erie, it's, it's pretty exciting, and we're very fortunate to be here, very, very fortunate. 